Hello everyone, welcome back to OGS Mechanics Workshop again. A job in today, Mercedes, with a timing chain noise. Listening your engine, it could reveal many things and if you pay attention, you could avoid expensive repairs. And we'll show you what it's all about. On the morning cold start, is usually when you're gonna start hearing a stretch chain. And um, we're gonna show you now, for instance, on this car, the first few seconds the engine is very very noisy and then it quiets down this is a, a timing chain symptom hopefully you can hear it in the video so quite a loud noise and then after a few seconds it quietened down it's a symptom that the chain is stretched the car is gonna go in the workshop to have it stripped and we're gonna show you what we have found After the first startup, the engine runs fine with no noises, but this is an indication, as mentioned, that the chain is, is stretched and keep using it like that, you could uh, eventually end up in um, chain failure and an expensive repair. On this engine, the timing chain is located at the rear of the engine, uh, in between the engine and the gearbox. Now, if we um, have to replace just the timing chain, we can do with the engine in situ. However, if any of the guys, they are bad or broken or, or extremely worn out, we'll have to remove the complete engine out of the vehicle. We'll need um, in the next stage to remove the injectors clear all the top of the engine so we can have the um, cam cover out to fully assess the time engine condition. Airbox has also have to be removed to have more clearance and here we have the turbos this is a twin turbo engine We are making a bit of room on this side um, where we is located the timing chain tensioner. We need to strip um, this is the housing that holds the airbox, and this is the particulate filter pressure sensor. There's another bracket there that we'll have to remove to get um, access to the tensioner. We put a loom aside so we can get um, straight access to the cover. We're going to proceed in dismantling the injectors 
and then um, finally to the camera. The injectors are coming on now. The carver is now out and um, we can see the chain. What we expect to see the chain is being loose. Even though now the tensioner is um, filled up with the oil, you can, the chain is still loose and um, this is an indication that um, it is trash. Now what we'll do, we'll get access further to see the sprockets, try to see the condition of them, if they are worn out and also if the guides are broken or ex excessively worn out. What we'll need to check at this stage is whether those guides, those are the guides, if they are in good conditions, the one on the engine. It has two guides, one guide and one tensioner. So if the one on the engines are good, we will be able to replace the chain in situ. And we have here the chain, we'll show you how it is. So we're basically going to cut the chain, run it through inside and then join it um, again. Procedure, like I uh, mentioned earlier, it can be done if the rest of the components are, are in good condition. Otherwise, if we have to go to the stage of replacing um, the guides, the engine has to be removed from the vehicle. It has to be separated from the gearbox in order to get full access. We also going to replace the the tensioner, got the brand new part. This is a hydraulic tensioner. So, um, yep, we are now going to proceed to try to um, have a better view on the guides. Removing the camshaft will allow us a better access on the chain, sprocket and, and guide. What we can see from this black deposit on the camshaft carrier caps is that the oil does not look very good. Therefore, maintenance is very important for timing chain for all the engine components. All the carrier caps have uh, removed, have been undone. We are removed in the mount. Now we'll have the camshafts out of place and then we'll be able to, um, to check the sprockets to see their condition. We'll also be able to check the, um, the guides once we have the mount. So the sprockets, they don't have any tests missing. However, we will replace them also uh, because they are due wear out. Um, the teeth, they get uh, sharpened as they uh, wear out. We'll have new sprockets. Let's see if we have them here. We already have them. So doing a comparison, is it visible that um, those teeth they are a bit um, rounded? 
definitely a um, new, new sprocket, good thing. Um, having all, uh, having the camshafts out, we can um, see better the, um, the guide, this is guide. We don't see any major markings in it. And this is um, good news because we don't have to take the engine out. We can complete this job in situ. This was our main concern. And from here, what we'll have to do, we have to cut the chain, roll the new one out, and then set again the timing with the new sprockets on the camshaft. Once we have uh, this clearance, we can check the guides. Sometimes this is the guide. Sometimes this breaks and if that's the situation, the engine has to come out to have it replaced. However, this particular one looks in good condition. No excessive wear. On this other side, we have the um, tensioner rail. Also good condition, no excessive wear on it, excessive wear marks. So this is good news because we will be able to complete this um, chain replacement in situ. What we'll have to do, we're gonna cut a chain and then roll the new out, connect it to the existing chain and roll it out through the pinion inside. Then we'll replace um, new sprockets, reinstall all the timing and um, put it all back together. So we'll proceed with um, taking the chain apart. For pulling the chain apart and then riveting the new chain in, we have used one of those tools with the specially designed for those type of procedure. We have pulled the rivet out, run the chain through, and we secured the rivet back in place with the help of this tool. We have cut one of the rivets from the old chain. We have joined it with the new chain, and we are pulling the new chain through Turning the engine, eventually the new thing comes out. Came up all the way, and now we'll be left um, to rejoin the chain and resecure the rivet back in place using the um, same tools. Camshaft um, reinstalled, timing set, new chain in place, and it can be seen now the chain is not loose anymore uh, as it was. Significant difference, of course, it's um, a new chain, also sprocket. We've installed a new timing tensioner, which is just there. Just the one over here, this is the tensioner that's also new. So timing has been replaced, luckily um, no damage to the tensioner and guide and all this um, job has was able to be completed in situ without removing the engine. We we'll proceed now to install the cover. Cam cover is now in place. We have now installing the injectors, cleaning the injectors holes, make sure they're all nice and tidy. New injector seals going on. They only one time use. We're installing the injectors in the same position that have, we have removed them. 
uh, otherwise they need to be recorded again which, because it's, each injector has a data that has to be written in the engine ECU according to the cylinder that is installed on. We're installing now the um, fuel pipes on injectors. Fuel rail back in place. Mm -hmm. Wiring to follow along with um, air box and brackets. Air box is now in place. We will also um, replace the air filter, which now uh, looks quite bad. So the car, this car was um, lacking maintenance Servicing is very important for um, the car reliability and uh, for the chain as in in this situation You've seen the chain was um, quite stretched and the oil change They can make a lot of difference if they are done regularly. Anyway, we will also perform a service and we'll be ready to um, Get the car the engine running again This job has now been completed. We uh, have serviced the engine. We left it overnight and this will be the first startup uh, today and uh, we want to pay attention on the engine noise. As it could be heard, no extra noise on the first startup. The engine sounded exactly as it was supposed to do. So um, this is uh, something that you need to pay attention on the first uh, cold start. The engine could reveal noises that can prevent significant damage. So in this case, we have replaced the timing chain. We have shown you the way that you could diagnose the chain. Again, first cold start up. That's when you're gonna hear the most uh, the engine uh, being noisy for a few seconds and then it's gonna quiet down. This is um, a symptom for a chain stretch. I hope you liked this video. You now know how to diagnose a faulty timing chain, a stretch timing chain, how to replace it. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more videos. See you soon.